All right. I think we're good. Good. Wonderful. Hey. hey, hey. Ah. Hello. Good afternoon. This is Yvette Colley and this is Desmond Batiste. Hi. And we are recording from his backyard in North Plainfield, New Jersey. So it is my honor and privilege to have Desmond here, or for me actually to be <laughs> to be in Desmond's backyard. It's beautiful. It's very uh, tranquil, pretty much like Flower Hill. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Desmond, I just want to let you know that next year you will be in Flower Hill. Next year I will be in Flower Hill. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. So. Um, Thank you very much for consenting to share some of your wisdom. And he is wise. You know why? If you look closely, he has some grays, and um, but yet he's a young man. I have known Desmond. He's um, a very good friend of my brother, Michael Colley. And um, my brother only chooses great men to be his friends. And uh, so he came highly recommended. And he's here to share some positive vibrations with you Flower Hill students because we believe in you and um, we want to be a part of your great future and so I'm um, gonna let Desmond talk for a few minutes so Desmond what is your profession? Ah, <laughs> I'm a owner of a small wireless consulting company uh -huh. Um, based out of my home actually great and uh, work all over the country even the world wonderful the world all right I, I like the start of this questioning okay um, because there are 230 students enrolled with Jamaica ambassador programs and um, most of the students want to be teachers doctors uh, pilots accountants we have some actors, musicians, etc. But none of them, based on what they have written on their application, mentioned anything about technology. Mm. Now, I'm not totally sure um, why, but as I think I know, and you might know more, technology is the wave of the future. Is that so? Well, without technology, none of your students could do a job. So all your pilots require technology to use your job. All your nurses, doctors, accountants, even musicians require technology to do some function okay. of their profession to be. That is a smart answer. I mean, you are a smart guy. <laughs> so therefore, how can we, based on the fact that the students have not actually listed technology, because I was watching on a television program recently in terms of careers we see even accounting being outsourced and a lot of you know the life as we know it even with musicians band you have beats you know things yeah, like that. yeah yeah how can you encourage the students what direction can you give to them to even explore a career in technology sure so I think that <clears throat> um, as it relates to technology to each person's profession, they should take a course. Mm -hmm. For example, whether it's one week, one month, one year, technology related course that's related to their profession. Oh, so you're not necessarily saying don't be an accountant. Correct. Okay. I'm saying be an accountant, but, but learn the tools, the technical tools to make you a great accountant. Mm. Learn the technical tools to make you a great pilot because okay. there's software uh -huh. around aviation, there's software around accounting, there's software around music. Okay. Wonderful. So Desmond, you're from Jamaica. Yes. How long have you been in the United States? Very long. <laughs> Very he, long. He's trying not to tell his age, very, but very long. he looks good, so it's okay. <laughs> okay, so you, you came here about nine years old. Yeah, within a single digit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what I, happens with us techie folks. It's double or single or triple digits, right? So it's zeros okay. and ones, zeros right. and ones. Okay. So you, you, your most of your education was here in the United States. Yes. All right. 
Now, um, as you know, Jamaica, in Jamaica, there are financial challenges. And there are times when even education, which is, we promote education as a path to progress. But even that path sometimes has so many challenges where a student may not feel motivated or even driven to pursue it. What encouraging words can you offer to the students in terms of education? Great. So I'm going to be very practical. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the practical approach to whether you want to be an accountant, a musician, um, pilot, uh, nurse, doctors, um, in the U.S., mm -hmm. in Canada, in London, in Europe, throughout the world, you know, once you have access to the internet, uh, there's a plethora of information for you um, to either read or archive videos for you to see, podcasts for you to listen to. And if you take advantage of that, it'll get you a step closer to what's happening today versus finding out what's happening today five years from now. Right. So the challenge that, that you know, I'm going to say we face in Jamaica is the fact that we don't have access to, let's say, the internet and to the to vehicles or the avenues on the internet to get us to the address that we're looking for. So uh, an accountant, someone who's studying accountant, they could sign up for different webinars that a, a company is giving a free one hour, two hour tutorial or, or, or seminar on their software package. Mm -hmm. Um, and that will help an accountant understand how to apply this technology to their craft. Okay. Same thing for you know someone who's studying um, aerospace or pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there are all sorts of uh, programs, simulation programs. Um, NASA has all sorts of things you could log on to and do. Um, Kennedy Space Center, you name it. There's just so much information out there. So I say grasp the internet, stop watching, you know, YouTube and the music videos. Seriously. And, and take and take hold of the webinars and seminars that these corporations and organizations have to offer to educate people. All you have to do is register, sign up, make yourself available for that day and time. And uh, hopefully you, you'll be able to get access to that, that piece of information that can help you with your craft. I'm, I'm glad you did mention about YouTube and all of that because you know as much as the internet is a wealth and, and a great opportunity it can also be a distraction. I agree. So so with YouTube um, believe it or not I mean let's let's add Facebook too. Fair enough. Um, yes. I think Facebook is more of a distraction than mm -hmm. YouTube is. So YouTube, for example, you could go on YouTube and, you know, watch a Courtney John video. Or you can go on YouTube and watch a video on how to apply some accounting theory or practice for your CPA. You can go to YouTube and learn how to um, give someone mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to save, save a life in, in a wow. restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or you can go to YouTube and listen to or watch a T.D. Jakes um, um, bite of, 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 of a subject on making great decisions or something okay. like that. So with that said, YouTube, you know, it's really up to you to really drive yourself to the right thing to do on YouTube because it's really your tube at that time right. for you to tune into All right. YouTube. Hey, give me five on that one. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to talk about the word empowerment. Yes. Right? Because many times you know, um, we give up on ourselves. Ooh. We, um, we can look at life, at the circumstances of life, and see a lot of negatives, see a lot of minuses, when in truth, <clears throat> it's just an opportunity. It's just filled with opportunities, even amidst the challenges. How can, or what can you say to the Flower Hill students in terms of empowering them because I believe that each one of those children in Flower Hill have the power to change their lives, to transform the path, um, and to have a wonderful future. So, 
uh, about two or three years ago, I heard this, and um, maybe longer, actually, maybe about eight years ago, mm -hmm. I heard this, and <clears throat> a shoe company sent two salesmen to the Amazon. Mm -hmm. So these salesmen are shoe salesmen. Mm -hmm. So one salesman phones back to his office and says, boss, there's no opportunity here. <laughs> No one wears shoes. <laughs> and an hour later, the other salesman calls his boss and said, Boss, there's a lot of opportunity here. No one wears shoes. <laughs> the second salesman is my kind of guy. All right, my kind of guy too. <laughs> so there's an opportunity everywhere. Exactly. So when we believe, believe Believing and knowing are critical um, components to your success. Yes. Because we could spend hours right here talking to you about empowerment opportunities and giving you tips and all of that. But each of us, we have to believe and then we have to know. We have to grasp this, um, these truths for ourselves. Yes and be able to empower ourselves, to drive ourselves towards that goal. Right. So, <clears throat> that said, um, we all need our own plan. Everyone needs to have their own plan for themselves. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that all, all the students are students. They're not married everyone is single and living at home correct that's correct as far as i know so so therefore um you need to plan your life and as you progress you incorporate other facets of your life to make your life a bit more complete so you need to create your own plan like what's your gut saying to you your gut says i want to be a pilot mm -hmm. okay well is it a private pilot, commercial pilot, whatever pilot you want to like be a pilot to, you know, spray crops, out fires, what kind of pilot do you want to become? Mm -hmm. And where do you want to be? And where do you see yourself in this craft today and tomorrow? And do you want to be an entrepreneur and open up your own aviation company or sell yourself as a pilot to various uh, airlines? Those are opportunities that I'm sure a lot of people don't think about. So because we're going, we're either going to be part of a very, very big corporation mm -hmm. or we're going to be a world of entrepreneurs. Mm. That's where we're going. So if you think like an entrepreneur and empower yourself, whether you're part of a big organization or you are your own organization, you will be successful and you will be happy because you have created an opportunity for yourself. And once you create an opportunity for yourself, with the help of others, hopefully, a good support system, you will, you will not only empower yourself, but eventually be able to empower others. You touched on some great points, Desmond. Oh, yes. Did I? Okay. Because um, another word that I want to talk about is innovation. Hmm. And um, you, you touched on some great points about working for a large corporation or working for a corporation or working for yourself. Mm -hmm. And as we see in these economic uh, challenging times, whether it be in Jamaica, America, Europe, wherever, we're all pretty much facing those challenges. Right. So um, we, we have this common talk, we say, think outside the box. Correct. Right? Yes. And one has to have foresight. Correct. So you can't, the, the world as you see it today, young Flower Hill students in 10 years from now, I mean, it's changing like on a very fast pace, but let's talk about innovation and, and how they should look at the world because you talked about planning. So is there, is there a way we can integrate all of that? Yes, it's called use your imagination and, I love that. And and live your imagination, live your dreams, right? I love so that. So if you dream, if you dream that <clears throat> um, one day trees are going to have feet, 
and replot themselves from your yard to your grandmother's yard, um, you know what? It's probably going to happen. It's just a matter of when. If you dream that, you know what, uh, one day every home will be powered by solar, by the sun, and not JPS, that eventually will, be, will happen. If you dream that one day I'll be able to purify my own water that I reuse and save water, then you know what, one day that will happen because it's here. If you could think it, dream it, imagine it, it exists right now today. You just don't have access to it. And you don't have the access right now, but once you know that there is an access. See, one of the, the three words um, that I have lodged in my memory in that empty room, that's a private joke, <laughs> it's from the Bible. I think it's Matthew 7, 7. Do you know what it says? Tell me. It's three words. It says, ask, seek, and knock. And when you have a dream, which it's important to have a dream, and it's important to pursue your dreams. You ask as, as many questions as it takes to find the answer, and you seek relentlessly because you know that it exists or that, it can happen. That's correct. And when you ask, seek, and you knock, you never stop exploring. So even though many times you might fail, you tried one solution for the trees to have leaves. It didn't work one time, you try it a second time, you keep trying. That's all those components um, are critical in the path of your life and planning. That is correct. So I completely agree with you. And, um, you know, f from your dreams, develop vision. And from your vision, um, you, 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 you create these goals. And once you're, what, and from your goals, you create a plan. So it's really, the dream, it's kind of backwards, but the dream happens. Then you, visual, you, you actually visualize it, that's your vision. And then you create these goals, and then you actually come up with a plan. So it kind of goes backwards, so dream now, and then visualize your dream, and then your goals become part of your vision, and then your plan helps you helps you meet your goals, which 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 makes your vision comes to fruition, and your dreams come to something tangible. Because you can't touch your dream, you can't touch your vision unless you actually plan and then meet your goals, which are your expectations, and then your vision uh, comes to fruition. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I really could... Um, we could talk. <laughs> we, could, we could chat. You know, because we have the same chip. Yeah. He, yeah. God helped him out. He yeah. gave a piece of the chip in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he's a good chip. Yeah. So we could talk, um, we could talk like this probably for a while, and um, we really hope that you received some good vibrations from us because we believe in you but remember we could believe in you from now until eternity and we could talk to you from now until eternity but you must believe in yourself and you should never for a moment second guess yourself or even al allow anyone else to tell you that any reason why you cannot succeed it's unacceptable you're right uh have you heard of the Ford Motor Company, F-150 trucks and whatever Ford? Uh -huh. Ford failed five times before succeeding with Ford Motor Company. So that simply says, shake it off. Yeah, and just read. Read, uh, use your time wisely when you're in school, don't daydream. Stay, pay attention to the teachers, ask the teachers questions. When you get home, as children, you should play and have fun, right? That's correct. But you have to um, get on board because while the rest of the world is using technology and they're far ahead, you still have to do some catching up. That's correct. So read the books, do all you can 
put the sweat equity in, right? And don't compare yourself. See, Desmond might be a genius and he could come up with the answers just like that. And I might be a little slower. It may take me no, I'm stop. <laughs> I may it may take me a little longer to come up with the answer, but it's okay. We're different. So don't put yourself down. Don't think you have to be like the next person. You're unique. So um, put yourself as a number one person. Put the sweat equity in to um, improve yourself. And every single day, you gradually work on improving yourself and making yourself better because we are looking for you at the top. We're looking for you at the top of the charts and we're looking to see you accomplish your dreams. So I'm going to let Desmond do the the the. <laughs> The, the parting powwow to you. Um, you got two brains, left and right. Choose one and use it. So if your left brain is not working for you, use your right brain. If your right brain is not working for you, use your left brain. You musicians, you're right brainers. You doctors are left brainers. But it doesn't mean that you can't use the other brain to get where you need to go. So. Just use your brain. You got two of them. Amen to that. You're wonderful because you're God's children. And God made no mistakes when he created you. So have a great life. And we're going to see you at the top. All right. See you there. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That was good. Yeah, it was fun. Now, I hope it recorded. <laughs>